Do you want to get started with email marketing with your Shopify store and you don't have anything set up yet? Maybe you want to send out a few basic automations to your subscribers or you want to send out some manual campaigns. I will show you how to set up not only a sign up form but your first campaigns, first automations, even a dedicated sending domain which is quite relevant in 2024. So stick to the end of this video and I will show you all of these today. All right, so this is a Shopify store that I set up for our agency's testing purposes. And uh, the very first step before we start sending marketing emails, because Gmail, Yahoo, and all of these email providers, they uh, regulated the rules of uh, sending emails recently. It became harder to get uh, into the inbox of uh, your subscribers than before. Once you are in the Shopify store, you want to make sure that you have your own dedicated sending domain for your emails which is not Shopify's domain you want to go to your uh, settings you want to go to domains and uh, I already added my uh, my domain that I uh, purchased earlier by default you will have this uh, domain provided by Shopify it will be something like your store name dot my Shopify dot com but um, you want to connect an existing domain or you want to transfer it from somewhere else or buy a new domain. Now I uh, connected the domain that I uh, want to add and once you pick this option you go to next and uh, basically you have to follow the setting instructions. You have to add a few DNS records to your uh, hosting site which is quite simple you just have to copy paste information from this uh, page to your hosting website. The next thing you can do is go to store details and here will be the information of your store. Uh, this is the store email but ideally you want to use a different email as a sender email. So go to notification settings and uh, the email your store uses to send emails to your customers. You want to set up the domain authentication for this which is another process but very similar to the custom domain. And now if I want I can change this email the sender email let's say Daniel and I will just save uh, so now a different email will be used to send email also it sends a verification so yeah this is a bit of a process but if your email and also it takes 24 hours I just did it like 10 minutes ago so I need to wait once it's done this message will be removed and the emails to your subscribers will go out not from your uh, Shopify domain but from your custom domain which has a much better sender reputation so once it's done we can go back to the main uh, Shopify page we will uh, add the sign up form first to the home page of this website so go to online store and as you know there are different themes that you can use on Shopify so and you can use different builders like PageFly and you know you can try different things this is the current theme it's very simple so let's customize this so this is a home page very simple and you need to go to add section if you want to add the email sign up form you have to pick newsletter and if you want you can move this section but basically here you can change the heading text and ideally you want to have a good offer so that's really important um, usually the best offers is not something like subscribe to our newsletter or check out our fresh promotions not like that you must be creative regarding this and then the more creative you are typically the higher conversion you will get also you want to attract the right type of people so you don't want to give 50 percent discount for a first time website visitor because pretty sure they will subscribe but question is how many they will buy or how profitable you will be at the end of the day. I really like freebies so uh, you can say something like get a free t-shirt when you subscribe to our email emails and then subheading you can add this as well. Obviously you need to run the numbers if it's worth it. I think this is a very catchy offer much better than giving away a discount but yeah this is just you know this just came out of my head now. You can check this on mobile as well I think it looks good. You can change the button colors if 
you want. So yeah, this is how you can add this to your home page. If you want, you can also add this to the footer. So newsletter, it's actually already here. And if you'd like, you can just copy paste this offer, this crazy offer that I gave to people. Okay, so now this will be in the footer. This default, uh, very simple Shopify theme enables me to add this only to the home page. But once you use other better themes, then you can add this to your product page as well, collection pages as well. And the process is very, you know, pretty much the similar. You always have to go to add section and then you always have to go for newsletter and that's how you can add this. The next thing I want to do is uh, setting up those emails. So go to marketing and uh, there are two types of emails you can send out. There are automations and these are automated emails which are triggered by a certain action uh, that Shopify tracks and you can send out campaigns which are manually sent out to your list. Before that, so you may ask where these email subscribers they go. So actually they go to customers and you can see all of your email uh, subscribers here. So we can uh, test this out actually so for example now I'm here and uh, I will add an email address say I will add something that I never used before finance team will be happy let's subscribe okay thanks for subscribing and yeah if I update this page it must be here yes yeah, here it's subscribe and if you click here you can see the history of the subscriber so orders what they did on the site email subscribe but not SMS because you didn't ask for a phone number default address their location and actually now now I'm in the US so that's correct United States and um, yeah so now go to marketing and let's check out automation so actually abandoned checkout it's usually turned on by default by Shopify and uh, it's good to know because you will send out actually marketing emails and many people they do it do it without even knowing about it so abandoned checkout and this is for people who go to your checkout page they put an item into their cart but uh, they don't buy so if you want you can edit this here and um, yeah this is how the email builder the automation builder of Shopify looks like so there is a trigger which is customer abandons the checkout process that I exactly want to do here and uh, check if they uh, if they abandon the checkout so yeah check if somebody a customer abandoned checkout on online store and there are many other conditions you can play with the total price of the product also there is a 10 hour time delay which is uh, I think is just too much so typically we use one hour uh, apply changes apply okay customer hasn't placed an order all of that and then they and then Shopify sends your marketing email so yeah this is super basic obviously and you can edit this email if you want you can use the drag and drop editor of Shopify and uh, yeah let's continue so yeah it's super basic uh, you can change the color and you can change the tag the font that you use color of font the logo so <laughs> again I'm not impressed um, this is how it looks like on mobile and you can send the test to your own email address to see how the email actually looks like on your phone or in your desktop so this is the abandoned checkout email that is turned on by default and the uh, abandoned cart remind customers they leave items in their shopping cart you can turn this on as well so this happens before the checkout if they add something to their cart and this is when they don't even put anything into their carts they just browse a product page if you want you can turn this on and you can edit this as well so yeah there are these three automations by Shopify or you can also create your own automation for example when somebody wants to buy a product but they cannot buy it because you are out of stock but once you are back in stock with that product you can notify them and there are other flows as well customer win back so <clears throat> actually Shopify they try to compete with a few email software companies such as Klaviyo, MailChimp all of these but I think it's still far from there and besides automations you can also send out campaigns so you need to go to create campaign and Shopify email and yeah you can pick different template and 
One good thing is Shopify recognizes your brand colors and logo, so it's already added. Let's say I want to add this one, select, and we are back to the same email editor. Uh, let's say this is what I want to send and review this. Yeah, it needs a button link so people, they can click there. And also I need to verify my email that I haven't done it yet. But basically you can send out an email campaign as well using this. So both automations and campaigns you can use. That being said, Shopify has solid sign up forms you can use on the site. I can see many stores they use it, especially in the footer and you can send out automations, actually quite many as you could see and campaigns, as many as you wish. However, I would highly recommend once you generate a couple hundreds of dollars, maximum a couple thousands of dollars using email marketing, you should go to something else such as MailChimp or Klaviyo or some kind of email automation tool because as you will see, they will have much more features and much more capabilities and even in the early stages of your business, it's super useful and the conversion of those and the capabilities are just much better and as you will see it will drive a great ROI for you. Shopify email system that you can use it tries to compete with basic email providers email senders but I think it's only for new Shopify stores and again once you generate some money with it then highly you should highly consider to change and I think you must really change because this is just so basic and this is really just for new Shopify stores. I hope you enjoyed this video and you could learn something about e-commerce and if you did make sure that you go down you hit the subscribe button also hit the notification bell so you get updated about my newest weekly video also we collected the top 100 email templates that we sent out on behalf of our clients after sending out more than 400 million emails go down and check out that free downloadable template and before you leave i will give you one more thumbnail check out that video as well most likely it's related to this video see you in my next video